see. Now, we had a conversation and I know some of these and they're, they're, it's good stuff. Yeah, the, you know, the, the letter, like I said, you know, it really crystallized the relationship that I had with Richard and the entire family. Like I said, Richard is my best friend, one of my best friends of all time, and had nothing to do with how good the girls were or how good they are now. Because he was my best friend when they weren't that good. You know, that's a whole different thing. People want to become your friend when you're famous or you get famous or you become great. Um, because of how I saw him treat those girls and he was always teaching life lessons and um, no matter what, he never deviated from protecting them and educating them. And Venus and Serena were like my own daughters. And I think the movie, now that the movie's come out, people can see how much I cared about the kids and the whole family. Forget the financial commitment, okay? It didn't matter if it was 50,000, 500,000 or 2 million. I was on a mission and Richard and I teamed up. I wasn't gonna be denied because I believed in Venus and Serena and I saw what they had. I never saw two little girls move like that, that quick, but there was a rage. There was a rage inside these kids like I never seen in my life. And that's what made me take the chance because people said, why would you take a chance like that? It's one thing to help them out or give sweat equity a little bit. I gave a lot of sweat equity, you know, and millions of dollars. But to put up your own cheddar, that's something different. But that's not why Richard wrote the letter. It was more real. It was many different levels. It was, I was all in. And you developed all in by consistency. Always on time, never late. Doing the little extras, okay? Never deviating. Always believing, as he put in the letter. You've always believed in my girls. It was me and him against the world. He looks forward to seeing me every morning, okay? Uh, you can read the letter and there's more to it than a letter. Hey, thanks, and you did a great job. There's so much more meat on the bone, okay? Um, so it meant the world to me uh, simply because now that kind of came out loud and clear in the movie. The movie's kind of uh, an extension of the letter. But at the end of the day, uh, that's why Richard and I had this unique friendship because um, I became their second father besides helping them. Remember, at this stage, from 11 to 15, that's a crucial time in any child's life. And the environment that I created, the positivity to train in, forget the opportunity hitting partners and the Taekwondo and the boxing and the ballet and my time every day and every day. I mean, it, people don't understand. It doesn't sound like a lot of time, you know, four years, but six hours a day, you know, six days a week, 365 days, that, that's, a, that's a lot. And you're there every day. So it was much more than me coaching the Williamses. And I don't want to just be known that I coach Venus and Serena. I had a major impact on their life at a very crucial time. And I think also Richard respected more than anything that I could handle him. I tell everybody, I not only coach the parents, I coach the, ki I coach the kids and the parents. And that's the art of coaching. You know, when to say it, when not to say it, uh, how to say it, why to say it, when to say the right thing, when to speak louder or softer, when to send the right emoji, even though he didn't have them back then, I don't think. So there's a whole art to this, taking the temperature and having the ability to keep your mouth shut. And I think people, you know, can come to see how I'm put together and how I've taught everybody because Richard's stubborn and he's set in his ways. And I have a pretty strong personality too. And I've, I did a lot in, in my lifetime, even before I taught the Williamses. And I think to compromise and get on that, you know, ship that's going to the winter circle, uh, you know, that takes a lot of character. And that's the art of coaching. Because at the end of the day, I knew, uh, I knew what I had. Richard knew what he had. Venus and Serena knew what they had. And when you get everybody on that page, uh, as they say, the rest is history.